One of Bill Snyder's favorite lines is special players make special plays. And in 1996, the Wildcats had a whole locker room full of special players. 15 of those special players were recognized on the all Big 12 conference team, including four first team selections and two All-Americans. The list begins with junior cornerback Chris Canny, the first player in Wildcat history to earn consensus first team All-American honors twice. Canny was chosen as the nation's top defensive back by the Touchdown Club of Columbus and was a finalist for the Jim Thorpe Award, the Maxwell Award, and the Bronco Ligurski Defensive Player of the Year Award. Senior Kevin Lockett will be remembered as the greatest wide receiver to ever wear the purple and white. He finished his career as the most prolific receiver in Big 8 Conference history in route to third-team All-American honors and first-team All-Conference accolades. Also a two-time first-team academic All-American, Lockett finished his career with 217 receptions, more than 3,000 yards, and 26 touchdowns. Somehow it just won't be the same without Lockett making diving, leaping catches all over Wagner Field next fall. But he gave us all plenty of memories, including a seven reception, 135 yard performance to close out his career in the Cotton Bowl. Senior free safety Mario Smith wants to be remembered as the biggest hitter to ever play at K-State. And he will be. Like no one before him, Smith made going over the middle a nightmare for opposing receivers en route to first team all Big 12 honors. Senior defensive end Niall Wyron also carved his name into the K-State record book as the all-time sack leader in school history. The first team all Big 12 selection finished his career with 27 and a half sacks and 46 tackles for loss. The anchor of K-State's offensive line, senior center Jason Johnson was a first team academic All-American and received second team all Big 12 honors. The first quarterback to lead the Wildcats to a New Year's Day Bowl, Brian Cavanaugh, threw for 20 touchdowns in 1996 and earned second team all Big 12 honors. Sophomore Travis Oaks stamped himself as one of the Big 12's best linebackers in 1996 in route to third team all conference recognition. Joining him on the third team were a pair of talented offensive tackles, junior Todd Weiner and sophomore Ryan Young. Linebacker Mark Simino set a K-State freshman record with 111 tackles and was named the Lakes Defensive Freshman of the Year. He also earned honorable mention all-conference honors. Joining him on the honorable mention list were fellow linebacker Deshaun Fogel, a senior who led one of the nation's best defenses with 112 tackles. Mike Lawrence, the junior running back who blitzed Iowa State for a K-State single game record 252 yards. Brian Goolsby, without question, the conference's best blocking fullback. Clyde Johnson, the senior safety who was ready to battle anytime and anywhere. And Jarrett Grostadier, a talented tight end who also made the academic all district team. Although the season ended in frustration, the loss in the Cotton Bowl couldn't diminish what will be remembered as one of the greatest seasons in Kansas State history. A season in which the Wildcats won nine games for the fourth consecutive season. A season in which the Wildcats qualified for their fourth consecutive bowl game. A season in which the Wildcats cracked the nation's top 10 for the third consecutive year. A trying, emotional season in which the Wildcats helped their friend and hero, defensive coordinator Bob Cope, battle cancer. And above all, a season in which the Wildcats took the next step by playing in their first ever New Year's Day bowl game. The next step in their quest for a championship.